Okay, a little more Hardy Weinberg practice. I'm not sure that you need to write the formulae out every single time for every problem, but I'm going to do it because I think it's it's certainly not a harmful habit, and it'll you'll get these memorized fairly quickly. It's nice to have them in front of you. It's also good to write them both because it reminds you of what I've been hammering away at that there's two different kinds of counting we can do, one involving individuals and one involving alleles, and you don't want to get them crossed up. <clears throat> so, in this case, they tell us in a pea plant population, there's a dominant allele for tallness, so real quick, apparently there's a big T allele that makes a pea plant tall, and a little T allele. They never exactly say what this means, but presumably it doesn't mean very tall, it means the opposite. And they say the dominant allele for tallness, T, notice a single T and they use the word allele, so we're talking about the one at a time level, has a frequency of 0 0.64. P is 0 0.64. P and Q have to add up to 1. If you do 1, take away 0 0.64. You can find that that's your Q. I'll, I'll just put underneath 1 minus 0.64 is how we found that. You can see those really do add up to 1 if you add them. And now that we have these, we can calculate whatever they want. Uh, we could find all three of these terms and get the double dominant, which would be big T, big T, and the heteros, big T, little t, and the homozygous recessives, little t, little t. But it turns out all they want is what percent of the population would be heterozygous, meaning they only care about this term, 2pq. Well, we can find that. It's 2 times p is 0.64 times q is 0.36. That's going to be just a smidge over 0.48, I think. 2 times 0.64 times 0.36. Oh, okay, 0 0.4608. I'm just running that again to make sure I didn't key something wrong. Yep, 0 0.4608. That's our decimal frequency. So you can say 0 0.4608 of the population, or if you multiply that by 100, you'll get a percentage, and it will be 46.08%. Round to the nearest whole percent, so apparently they just want 46%. 46% of this population will be heterozygous for the tall short allele. <clears throat>